Hello everyone, welcome to this extreme test. Today we're focusing on the most powerful cordless hammer drill from DeWalt, the DCD-999. If you haven't watched the detailed review for this video yet, please check it out. I'll link it for you up here on the top right corner of the info card. And now, let's dive straight into the extreme test of the powerful DCD-999. As you can see, I used a large flex volt battery with 6 ampere hours for this practical test. Before the test, I fully charged it so we have a maximum power available. Additionally, I turned on the LED light at the highest setting, which is essential as you can see here. In the test, I used the cordless drill in drilling mode to unleash its maximum performance. I also selected the first gear out of the three available gears. Furthermore, for the test, I needed several spade bits and multiple Forstner bits in different sizes. Next up is the large hole saw, and of course, let's not forget about the thick full threaded screws, as shown here, going up to 12 by 600 millimeters. I'm curious to see if the drill can fully drive these screws into the wood or not. Let's take a look at that in the practical test. Let's begin with the spade bits, starting with the smallest one in the test, 16 millimeters. As you can see, it's clearly not a problem for the cordless drill in the first gear. Moving on to 20 millimeters, still no issues. Therefore, let's try 25 millimeters for the next round, all in the first gear. And that looks good. Let's do a second run as well. Again, no difficulties. Now, let's move on to 28 millimeters, first gear, 550 revolutions per minute. No problems here with the 28 millimeter bit either. Now, let's tackle the largest one in this category, which is 32 millimeters. And as you can see, the device doesn't seem to struggle with it either. The 32mm spade bit was easily sunk into the material. Now it gets a bit more complicated or demanding as we continue with the Forstner bits. Let's start with a small one, 30mm in diameter. Almost laughable, let's move on to the next one, 35 millimeters. The next one in the test is a 40 millimeter diameter bit. And as you can see, the bit is clearly no problem for the DCD-999. It was fully sunk into the material as well. The device shows no weaknesses as you can see.
Now, let's continue with the extreme test. A Forstner bit with a threaded tip, 65 millimeters, first gear, full throttle. As you can see, the device definitely struggles a bit, but it manages without any problems. So, let's switch to the second gear. Now, it gets interesting. As you can see, the second gear almost fully sinks it, but around the middle, the overload protection kicked in. In conclusion, the first gear is not a problem, but the second gear is not really doable for this large Forstner bit. Now, let's continue with the hole saw, 83 millimeters in diameter. I'm curious to see how the cordless drill performs in thick wood. As you can see, the device struggles a bit with the large hole saw, but there's still room for improvement. It completely sinks the 83mm hole saw, and I must say, it happened quite quickly. So, let's do a second run right after. That looks nice, really impressive. And now, let's move on to the extreme test, the ultimate extreme test, the test with the thick full threaded screws. Let's start with an easy one, of course, in the first gear with the smallest screw in the test, 10 by 200 millimeters. Basically, it's almost ridiculous, the screw was fully sunk very quickly. Next up is the slightly larger one, 10 by 300 millimeters. No problem, fully sunk. The next one in the test is where it definitely gets more interesting. Let's continue with the 10 by 400 millimeter screw. I believe there won't be any problems here either because the device has a lot of power and the 10 by 400 millimeter screws are probably a piece of cake in first gear. And it looks exactly like that. As you can see from the side view, the screw was quickly sunk into the material. Now let's move on to the largest one in the 10 millimeter class which means 10 by 500 millimeters. For most cordless drills, this is definitely a knockout criterion where they struggle, but not the DCD-999. And now, take a look at this. The 10 by 500 millimeter goes in smoothly as if it's nothing. It looks great, simply amazing. Therefore, let's increase the demand with 12 millimeter thick screws. Let's start with the smallest one, 12 by 200 millimeters. Now it gets interesting, but I'm optimistic that it'll be quickly sunk at the beginning as well. Yes, absolutely no problem with this small screw. The next one follows immediately, 12 by 400 millimeters. Now it gets interesting. The powerful brushless motor can handle 67 newton meters in a soft screwing scenario, which is definitely a lot, and you can see that.
The 400 mm screw is sunk with confidence. Incredible! Now we have the last two screws, which means 12 by 500 millimeters. I'm curious. But even here, the progress is brutal with this large screw. Fantastic! The device truly has incredible power, and thanks to the side handle, it's possible to guide the cordless drill precisely and safely. Especially in this torque class, it's necessary. The largest one in this test, 12 by 600 millimeters. It's already fully engaged and has already sunk half the screw. We're approaching the end. And here too, the screw was fully sunk. Absolutely amazing. As you saw, the device definitely had to struggle toward the end, meaning the 12 by 600 millimeter screws. The cordless drill was close to triggering the overload protection, but it didn't activate. That means that 12 by 600 millimeter can easily be sunk. This device has an incredible power with this brushless motor and the 67 newton meters of torque in a soft screwing scenario. And as you can see, all the screws were easily unscrewed again. The battery check after the test. Fully charged beforehand, after the work, the device has only consumed three bars. In my opinion, that's completely fine considering all these tests. And that's it for this detailed extreme test. If you enjoyed the video, please show your support with a strong thumbs up to help me out. And if you haven't done so already, quickly subscribe to this channel for free and activate the bell to not miss any videos. You can find the detailed review for this video, as mentioned before, at the top in the info card. The current prices are listed in the video description below. Thank you very much for your support and take care until next time. Goodbye.